Hello, my name is Johan Falk, and this is another video about coding stuff for uh, simulating board game things. Uh, we're going to look at how to um, roll a number of die and store the results in an array. Uh, so let's uh, create a new function. Function uh, roll three, roll some die, actually. Uh, and we're going to say, let's roll three dice, a 3d6 roll. I'm going to have create a new variable to store my results. I'm going to call it let uh, results equal an empty array. And then I'm going to create a loop here. So I'm going to say while there are some different, several different ways of creating loops in JavaScript. You're going to see one example right here. While, and then I'm using parentheses. All the uh, conditions in JavaScript are written within parentheses. I'm going to say while results dot length. And this is the number of items or values stored in a, in a result or in, um, in an array while the number of items stored in the results are less than three, I'm going to do something and I'm going to use these curly brackets again to say, do everything between these curly brackets as long as we have fewer than three, three results. And that is results.push roll a die. So, while we have less than three, three results uh, stored, add a new one. And then hopefully if I've done this right, I can now return results. Go. Let's add a debugger statement here. And then I'm going to try this roll some die function run. And this wasn't very useful, was it? Oh my god. Why can't I see the results variable? Okay, so this was interesting. Let's actually try it from spreadsheet see if I'm doing things right roll some die go 114 seems to be working roll some die 544 so why is this not working then stop just run it roll some die let's debug it ah. Maybe debugger, let's try again. Stop. Awesome die debug. And the result is stored. Why is this is strange? It's here. Let's keep going. Ah it's this debugger. Let's remove that statement. Okay, so this is debugging live. Debugging, the, there are a number of very important skills to learn when you code. The first one is to just write code, learn the syntax and how to denote arrays, how to create functions and stuff like that. Second thing, which uh, becomes important very early on is debugging. Uh, you need to, well, you will spend a lot of time debugging, more time, much more time than you spend coding, you will spend debugging. So learning how to debug is important. This was uh, um, well, an example of how to uh, find a bug in debugging. You'll see more of that in future videos, I am sure of it. So, okay, let's try again. Debug, roll some die. Here we are. The results variable contains 616. Nice. And it also has the property length with value three, saying that it has three values. That's nice. Okay, so it works. Um, what could we do with this? Um, let's actually look at that in another video. See you there, bye.